Welcome to Beauty and the Broken. My name is Heather and um, we are making a, um, what is that called? A scallop shell. We're making a scallop shell today. So right now we're using a uh, scoop of the white mica powder into the pre-mixed resin. And um, I do mix that off camera so that you don't have to see everything. So you don't have to, you know, we don't have to waste time with the, um, with the mixing. But so we're putting I, one scoop at a time in just to see how um, opaque the mica powder makes it. So now we're gonna go with a second one because it really is um, very, very translucent at this time. And you can see I have the scallop shell ready um, and then beside it I have another mold just in case we have some extra resin. I always like to have something along the side just in case there's extra. We don't wanna waste the, the resin. And so this is the second scoop mixing in there and uh, it's getting a little bit more opaque, but um, yeah, then you want to scrape the sides. I love these sticks from Let's, Re Let's Resin because they just, they clean off so easily and they mix so easily, but you want to make sure you get all the mica powder off the stick and into the resin to be mixed up. So you can see it's swirly. It's not quite opaque yet. So we're going to go with one more scoop of the mica powder and that should be enough. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. So I want to take a moment to thank all of the new subscribers. You guys have been fantastic with uh, subscribing and liking and uh, your comments have been wonderful. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, all right. So it is getting definitely um oh goodness see when you're working in a well ventilated area the bugs try to come in and uh take over so <laughs> we did actually cut out a part of this where um i actually hit the camera trying to shoot the fly away <laughs> but that's okay it's all good um so we can see how white um a lot more opaque that uh that resin is now looking now that we have mixed in three scoops of the mica powder. Okay, so now I'm using alcohol. This is uh, isopropyl alcohol, and I am going to squirt the inside of the mold to help reduce the bubbles. It's very difficult with this style mold to get in and get those bubbles out, but I'm gonna show you a couple different things that we're gonna do. So one is squirting the alcohol into the mold, and then uh, we're gonna pour that in. Another thing to help reduce bubbles that I did not do here is to put that stir stick in and pour off the stick. Uh, that also helps to reduce bubbles because it helps to reduce the churning of the resin. So now you can see I'm gently picking this up and I'm just gonna squeeze, gently squeeze the corners, you know, the, the points on the shell and um, that helps to get the resin into the edges of the mold as well as get the bubbles out. And I'm slightly tilting the mold so that the resin goes in. You can see that right there, a bubble popped right up because I was squirting, because I'm not squirting, I was squeezing. <laughs> I was just squeezing the edge of the mold. So now we add more resin in and I'm not gonna completely fill it yet. And again, take the mold and gently squeeze around the edges to get those bubbles up and to get the resin all the way into the edges. And we're getting closer to the top, but you notice that you know we take it slowly, one little bit at a time, and keep squeezing to make sure that the bubbles do not settle in the edges of the mold. Okay, so there's that fly again. <laughs> Actually, I think that one was a mosquito. So now we have this it's a, it's a simple light bulb and um, you can see there's a piece of holographic film, you know, the, the one that I did in the daggers, the swords that um, in the, uh, was a previous video. Um, I will uh, link that video in case you missed that one. And uh, so we put a little bit of the resin in that light bulb and we're gonna top off the scallop shell. There we go. Now it is time for the beauty reveal. As you can see, I filled in the rest of that light bulb with some black and I did put that holographic film in there. 
So you can see it gleaming there in the black. It did move though. Um, it, <laughs> it slid so you can see it's not all the way around uh, the full edge. We did get a little overflow so we're going to use a little um, nail file um, to get rid of that. You can also just pick it off if it's, uh, it depends on how long it's been in there, uh, how hard it is. You can just pick some of that off. Again, well ventilated area. You don't want to be breathing all of this dust and um, particles. So and you can see, yeah, if you, up on my left thumb there, you can see where the holographic film actually moved. But you can't see it from the front, so that's good. <laughs> so there you go. Would have been nice to have a little bit more of the white in the bulb of the ornament, uh, not the ornament, the, um, the light bulb, but, um, but I think it still looks cool. And so now let's reveal the shell. And I really love the, uh, the way that the mica powder looks in, the, in, this, um, in this mold. It's, the resin is just really pretty. I, like, I really like this mica powder. I'll link that below as well. Oh, I do see a bubble. We did get one bubble on the edge there. Another thing you can do is to take um, your uh, silicone stick and run it, run it along the edges. And that will also help to reduce the the bubbles that like to they like to stick in the folds and the edges and the creases, and they like to hide there. So, just easing that out there, and you want to be gentle with the pieces that stick off the edge so that you don't break them off. But there is the shell. We got a little glitter in there. Glitter is everywhere. Once you use it, you can never get rid of it. <laughs> But I never mind a little glitter. Oh, and you can see that that uh, that bubble kind of through the through the uh, opacity of the mica powder. But I think it really looks like a shell. There's no no um, bubbles along those edges that we had squeezed it out of, and on the corners, very smooth. So there you go. I think that looks really really pretty and then there we go so thank you all for joining me and please like and subscribe and share mm -hmm.